Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are starting Space Agency. This is a wonderful game for the Android and iOS for phone, developed by Nulis. So I'm going to put a couple links for them down below in the description. Please show them some love. This is an awesome game. And they have a couple other games that I might cover too. And they're wonderful. They're extremely challenging. They're so hard. They're punishing. It's like, it's like Dark Souls for the Android phone. So let us begin. Today we are going to do the tutorials just so you guys can have a little bit of an idea how to play. That way, if you decide you want to play, you've already got a leg up. And we are going to do the first tutorial today, launch training. So, we have this mysterious text box that pops up that says, Welcome to Space Agency. And we're going to read through the mission control dialogue, and we're going to do what it says, and hopefully we'll get to launch a rocket into space. Let's begin. Welcome to Space Agency. This is Mission Control. Everything in Space Agency is controlled from here. You will be flying a series of missions, each one more difficult than the last. The details of each mission are described in the briefing. Each briefing contains a set of objectives and a minimal set of instructions. You'll need to use your initiative to succeed. So let's take a look at the briefing for this mission. So click on briefing. And this is a tutorial one, launch training. Our objectives are to build a four part rocket. Successfully launch said rocket. Enter orbit. And we have a max budget of $5,200,000. And a max time of 10 minutes, zero seconds. I think we're going to be much shorter than that on the actual mission, but we'll see. So this training mission will teach you how to assemble a simple rocket and launch it into space. Assemble the following four-part rocket. So, we have four main parts here. We have the fairing, which protects the vehicle and its payload from overheating during launch due to the atmospheric friction on the vehicle from being propelled so fast. We have a second stage module. This takes over once the first stage has run out of fuel and has been jettisoned. So, then we have the interstage connector. These link the first and second stages together. And then finally, we have the first stage. This stage gets the vehicle off the launch pad and part of the way into space. It is a powerful unit, but has limited fuel. And then, since this is a training mission, no payload will be carried. Once you have constructed the rocket, launch it into space. The second stage must reach orbit for you to pass this test. Okay. So, now I'm going to continue reading. Oh, I already said okay. And so. <laughs> but I'll say them again. Okay, so we're going to build a rocket. Press the vehicle button to continue. This is the vehicle selector. From here you can build new rockets or select any objects that you have previously launched into space. Press the new rocket button to continue. So this is the build area where we... where new rockets are created. The menus down the right hand side of the screen contain parts to build rockets, payloads for those rockets to launch, and components for building space stations. Ooh. We're building a small rocket today, so press the small stages menu. Uh -huh. To use a part, simply drag it from the menu. Try it. Drag the Mercury first stage and drop it in the build area. So with this, you drag it, literally drag it, and then kind of let it go right over the blue lines, since it's a small stage, and all the lines are color-coded. You have blue, which is small, green, which is medium, and red, which is large. So if you want to remove a part, simply drag it from the rocket and drop it back into the parts menu. So yes, drag it back into the parts, and it's gone. 
Okay, let's build the rocket. Add all three rocket parts. So we take and drag the Mercury first stage to the blue. You'll notice that it like snaps into the blue when you get it close to the blue, because that's where it wants to be, and we just let it go. And then we can grab the connector, and we can kind of drag it, and it snaps in like this, not like that. And then we grab the Delta second stage and let it go. And well done. It's looking really good, but it's missing something. It isn't very aerodynamic. It needs a fairing. We need to go up a level and select the fairings category. So we swipe on the menu structure to the right and we can go up a level and click on the fairings. And oh, it's saying excellent. Now complete the rocket by adding a fairing. So once again, this is blue. We drag it to the blue area and let it go. And nice, that's a fine looking rocket you built. Sure. So the percentage indicators on the left give an estimate of how close to orbit each part of the rocket will get. Here on the top, see the flashing red arrow, you can see how much money you have spent and how much you have remaining. Okay, let's launch this awesome machine. Press the launch button. So we have a countdown starting. All systems nominal. And we, when it gets close, 12, we'll 11, be able to hit the button 10, on the bottom right. Nine, oh, it's telling eight, us. It says press and hold the thrust six, button to start five, the engine. Four, okay. Three, so two, I'm pressing and holding it. One. And we have started. Oh, this is so awesome. We're launching a rocket, guys. We're going upwards. So, okay, so you want me to take my hand off the button to hit continue? This wasn't very well designed. This is the altitude gauge. Oh, okay, so on the right, we have the altitude gauge. And when the rocket reaches the top of the gauge, you have made it into orbit. So on the left, we have the roll gauge. The roll gauge indicates the rocket's trajectory. Try to keep the rocket within the triangle at all times. Here you can see how much thruster propellant the main engine fuel on the rocket stage has remaining. This first stage has no thruster, so no thruster propellant. Okay. Huh. So, let's continue. And then the mission clock displays how much time you have remaining to complete the mission. Tip, you can tap the clock during the countdown to skip to the last five seconds. Okay, so now we must press and hold the thrust button to continue. All right, so we're getting close, sort of. We're, we're like a quarter of the way there. We're almost there. This is a long video <laughs> for two minutes into space. So the rocket needs to gain speed as well as altitude. To achieve this, you must tilt or roll the rocket. To tilt the rocket, you must gimbal the engine. Do this by sliding your finger on the thrust control. So let's press and hold, and we slide our finger over to the right, onto like the arrows, guys. You can see the arrows on the screen, and if you just kinda slide your finger, the rocket starts to turn, and we're gonna leave just a little bit of turn left. We're not gonna be completely straight because we are going to have to jettison the rocket in a second, and it's gonna turn some. So this stage is out of ro this stage of the rocket is out of fuel. Discard it by pressing the separate button. You will also need to discard the inner stage connector or skirt. So we will press the button. And then when it comes available again, we can press it, and now we can start our thruster again for the second stage. And this second stage, ooh, it's getting dark, and the stars are out, so we are almost in space now. Boom! We have made it! The mission is completed, and we have the gold award. Our total time for the mission was one minute zero seconds and the total mission cost was 5.2 million dollars thank you all so much for watching the first stage of this tutorial and we will be back next time with whatever is next in line
Ah, basic maneuvering. Next time is basic maneuvering. So thank you all so much for watching. This has been Zero with the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Playing Space Agency. Have yourself a wonderful night.